The problem is that since 1864, we've had a debt-based banking system. All our money is based on government debt. We cannot extinguish government debt without extinguishing our money supply. That's why talk of paying off the national debt without reforming our banking system is an impossibility. That's why the solution does not lie in discussing the size of the national debt. Rather, it lies in reforming our banking system. This is the Federal Reserve headquarters in Washington. It sits on this very impressive address, right on Constitution Avenue, right across from the Lincoln Memorial. But is it federal? Is it really part of the United States government? Well, what we're about to show you is that there's nothing federal about the Federal Reserve, and there are no reserves. The name is a deception created back before the Federal Reserve Act was passed in 1913 to make Americans think that America's central bank operates in the public interest. The truth is that the Federal Reserve is a private bank owned by private stockholders and run purely for their private profit. That's exactly correct. The uh, Fed is a privately owned for-profit corporation, which uh, again has no reserves, at least no reserves available to back up the Federal Reserve notes, which is our common currency. Oh, absolutely. The Federal Reserve is neither federal and has doubtful reserves. It's a private bank that is owned by member banks. And uh, it was chartered uh, under the guise of deceit by an act of Congress in 1913. But more directly, U.S. courts have ruled time and time again that the Fed is a private corporation. In 1923, Representative Charles A. Lindbergh, a Republican from Minnesota, and father of the famed aviator Lucky Lindy put it this way, the financial system has been turned over to the Federal Reserve Board. That board administers the finance system by authority of a purely profiteering group. The system is private, conducted for the sole purpose of obtaining the greatest possible profits from the use of other people's money. One of the most outspoken critics in Congress of the Fed was the former chairman of the House Banking and Currency Committee during the Great Depression years. Lewis T. McFadden, Republican of Pennsylvania, said in 1932, We have in this country one of the most corrupt institutions the world has ever known. I refer to the Federal Reserve Board. This evil institution has impoverished the people of the United States and has practically bankrupted our government. It has done this through the corrupt practices of the moneyed vultures who control it. Senator Barry Goldwater was a frequent critic of the Fed. Most Americans have no real understanding of the operation of the international moneylenders. The accounts of the Federal Reserve System have never been audited. It operates outside the control of Congress and manipulates the credit of the United States. The Federal Reserve really, even though it is not part of the federal government, it is more powerful than the federal government.